children at the meeting's quarters. And I, I need to see her Coco. I'm afraid I can't help you. I can't help you. Why now? Please stop. Please. Listen. Desperate issues need desperate measures. It is very urgent that I see her, please. I can't help you. In, in this, Akuga has been crying all day long. I, yes, she wouldn't tell anyone what the problem is. And trust me, I am not ready for her negligence anymore. So, I can't help you. Hey, go call me. You, you didn't tell me why she was crying now. Do I know? Hey, how am I supposed to know? To go and be with Ezra right now. You better leave here now. Leave here now. Just go back to your duty post, okay? The queen or anybody else might just walk in here now. Akugo, you know I'll risk anything for you. My life, my job. I'll do anything for you. But you have to tell me why you're crying. I'm sorry, my love. What are you sorry about? Is there something you're not telling me? Kamifla! Oh, Akugo! English turned down my advances. This is unbelievable. Me. It is unbelievable. <laughs> the sixth. Of the great Ebube kingdom. Tell me, is there any woman from within or without this kingdom who will turn down my invitation? Of course no. Not this one. Look at this. Look at this. Brat! She's lucky. She, 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 because she was she has she has won my heart. And my heart yearns for her every time. And will not stop until I have her. Uh, Your Majesty, how do you plan to do that? How do I plan? I do not plan to take what I desire. I always have what I desire. So if I desire her, then she must come to me. Uh, with due respect, Your Majesty, there are other ways that this matter could be channeled. Through which method? Well, she said she belongs to another. You have to win her back. You have to win her love back. Her heart. You have to let her forget her old love. Uh, and she has to be the one yearning and craving for your love. You know, that is the beauty of it all. You know, uh, she has to, uh, she has to love you for who you are and not for what you are. You are a genius. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, I don't have anybody else. I can send you will be you have to be my eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, but um, it will need um, you know it will need some kuchi kuchi. <laughs> <laughs> Money. Yes. <laughs> for kuchi the gifts kuchi. and the jewelry. No so. problem. <laughs> no problem at all. Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you know the implications of this, what you are doing? He's your king, for God's sake. Huh? 
How can you disregard his request? Do you want to incur his wrath on you, on your family? I have no feelings for him. I am in love with another. Who talks about love here? You and whoever is your lover is in control of you. He can do with you anything he wants, any time, any day. <gasps> Please say, fool. I'm telling you this because it is you. If it is another maid in this palace, <laughs> I don't have time for this. Uh, okay. What do you want me to do now? Keep your love for whoever it is that is your lover. But at least pretend that you love the king. Huh? Just go at night and warm his bed. That is all he wishes. And what if he decides to take me as his new wife? Now when the time comes, we shall know what to do. Hmm? But for now, you just go and warm his bed. That is only good for you. So, what exactly should I do? Tonight, go and warm his bed at night. I've heard you. Good. Ordinary <laughs> Abuche. She was so impressed with the gifts. That she did not know when she promised she would spend the night with you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you mean of her own volition? Her own volition. She said she would come and spend the night with me? <laughs> you doubt my ingenuity? No, 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 no. no. Oh. <laughs> Even the gods <laughs> approve of everything. Yes. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Mm. Mm. Yes. It's very good. Yeah. Very good. Right. Before you know it, uh, ten o'clock is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the city and start a new life. But Akugo, you know I can't quit this job. I'm all my blind father has now and he feeds from my salary. If I quit this job, what would become of my father? Yeah, you're right. It's true, but I just... I'm just worried. I don't want anything to happen to you. To us. To our love. Kugo, nothing is going to happen to our love. Hmm? Nothing. Are you hiding something from me? Is there something I should know that you're not telling me? That reminds me, you haven't told me why you were crying all day the other day. Is there something no, I should know? No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. It's just that I worry about our future. Our future. Why? Uh, but there's nothing to be worried about. Our future holds great things for us. So why are you worried? Hmm? Majesty, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry that I did not come at night. I overslept. And by the time I woke up, it was already morning. Oh, I am not angry with you. You know, you are absolutely beautiful. And every time I see you, I, it reminds me of the new Ezewai, the mother of my unborn. 
babies. So, uh, how about tonight? Are you going to visit me? Um, yes, Your Majesty. I I'll visit. Oh, this is good. <laughs> I am glad to hear it. Oh, by the way, I have a present for you. A surprise present. I'll give it to you when you come. Hmm? Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Uh, Your Majesty, is there why I might come out soon? May I go back to my chores? Uh, of course, of course. Thank you, Your Majesty. Wonder shall never end. Akugo, what was the meaning of that? Look, you better mind your business and go back to that stupid that you were doing. I'm me, Paul. Hey! <laughs> my eyes have seen and my ears have heard. I do not know what your eyes have seen, nor what your ears have heard. You better just do your job. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Wonder shall never end, though. Hmm? Can you ask questions? Just follow me. Tonight, I make a blood covenant with you. Let the moon, the stars, the trees over our heads, the fire beside us, be a witness to our love, that tonight, our hearts were knitted together. Let it fight against any man who will come in between our love. You belong to me, and I belong to you. Nothing shall successfully come in between our love. And so shall it be.
You know, she, she deceived us. She tricked us. She deceived us. She played on us. Twice. Twice. And I see. She kept me waiting all night. Oh. She took my money. She took my gold. And yet she turned me down. <laughs> she is going to feel the heat of my anger. Your Majesty, I think something must have happened. Mm. You should have seen the way she was happy when I gave her those gifts. She said she couldn't wait to be in your arms. Mm -hmm. So what went wrong? I suspect her lover boy. Who is he? It might interest the king that um, his rival lives right under his roof. What? What is he called? What is he called? Calm under down. my roof! Calm down, calm down, uh, your, your majesty. You are raising a false alarm. Doesn't he have a name? He is no other than Afame Fula. Hmm? the head of the palace guards. Hey. 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 Are you sure? I overheard the maidens talking this morning that uh, both of them sneaked out of the palace last night and came back this morning. So, all this has been going on under my roof and I knew nothing about it. Oh, that boy is going to suffer. He's going to suffer. Oh, he is going to suffer. In fact, I, 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 I fire him. Not so fast, Your Highness. Not so fast. You may spoil things in your anger. What do you mean? Terminating his job does not indicate wisdom. Um, it's because it is based on a baseless gossip. So there are better ways of doing such things. Afam, do you know why I called you into my chambers? No, Your Highness. Because I love you very much, and you know it. If, if it had been any of the other guards, Oh, I, they will not be having it light with me at all. Yes, I know all the things you've been doing behind my back. Oh, yes, you have been sneaking in, in the dead of night into Ezewai's chambers. And, have, and you have been having sex with her. May the gods forbid it. Are, are you denying it? Your Highness, I can't, I can't do that. I will swear with any oracle, Your Highness. I am. So you are sure you can prove your innocence? I can prove my innocence. I will prove my innocence, then Your you Highness. you will prove your innocence. Thank you very I, much. You will prove your innocence. Tonight, I am going to join you to the Queen's room. Oh, yes. In the dead of night, you will go. And when you get in there, you will begin by rubbing her breasts. Oh, yes. And then her thighs. Your Highness. And listen. And listen. When you rub her legs. If she wakes up and joins you, then I'll know. It is business as usual. <laughs> but if she wakes up and raises an alarm, then I will know that you are innocent. Your Highness, how do we explain it to her? How do I make her know I didn't come to assault her? Are you deaf? I said I will be by the door. Leave the rest to me. 
trouble you. I have spoken. And so shall it be. somebody's hand on my body. I thought it was you. I woke up and it was this fool. What? But you, but I, but ah! you have the guts to invade my privacy. For the good of men. And uh, it can still be amended by men. I am disappointed. Highly disappointed in all of you. You are the same people who have insisted that we comply fully with our customs and traditions. Now, someone has violated our custom. <laughs> Why are you running away from the truth? Your Majesty, may you live long. It is because of the boy in question. Oh yes, Your Majesty, the boy in question. Your Majesty, everybody knows that our family Funa is the true son of the kingdom. He can also be a witness to this truth. He is the only son of the poor man. Wankwo, the only hope of the blind man. Please, let's not kill him. I suggest you tamper justice with mercy, just on this case. Arant nonsense. Arant nonsense, utter bunkum. Your Majesty, you will live long. Your Majesty, uh, my own is that. Since the young man in question is denying the allegation, I suggest we take him to the oracle to swear. Mm. Huh? Yes, yes. It is better we hand him over to the gods to avoid um, shedding innocent blood. Ah. <laughs> so you are saying that uh, the one and I have lied? Hmm? No, no, no. no, no, no. no, 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 no. You, what you are saying is that the king and the queen have 
they've lied against a farmer fool. No, Your Majesty, I have not said so, but I'm only saying in my mind. Then shut up. As your Majesty, please. Now, what is going on there? God! What's going on there? Yes, Uncle, the blind man insists on seeing you. And I told him you are in a meeting. He insists on seeing you. Mm. Bring him in. What can I do for you? My king, you will live long. I am here on my knees, begging you to please allow my son, Efa Mevna. Efa Mevna, you may know, is the only thing I have in this life. I lost the mother and the brothers the same day I lost my eyes. Some of you can attest to this. Alpha Mevna is not a very bad boy, but I don't know what came over him. Your Majesty, if somebody must die because of Alpha Mevna's sins, Your Majesty, please take me. Let me die for him. Uncle, well, if you have finished, you may leave. <laughs> no. no. This is my judgment. In three days, Alpha Mevula, Mwanko, shall be killed by hanging, hey. according to the customs and traditions of the great Evume kingdom. I have spoken, and so shall it be. For me, for not dead days. Something is wrong somewhere. Udo, what are you saying? Are you saying that the king and the queen are accusing him falsely? I did not say anything. All I know is something is missing somewhere. <laughs> Please take it easy, please. Whoever is behind this must certainly face the wrath of the court. They said he will be killed by hanging tomorrow in the night. Hell! Gods of our land! Gods of our land! Where are you? Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Afam Ifuna. If Afam dies because of this, then there is no need remaining in this job. I will quit as soon as they kill him. You never can tell. It could be my own turn tomorrow. Afam. Mbang. Let me see him, I beg of you. Please. Okay, okay. Okay, but, 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 but please, do not spend more than five minutes. Because if you do, you will be putting us into trouble. I, I understand. Please, five minutes is enough. God bless you. Chinaki, okay, okay. You know what? Go, 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 go. Do it. Just stop talking. It was. Just stop talking. It was a stop talking. I know that you did not do it. I believe you. You believe me? Yes. I do. Thank you very much. Love. I don't want to lose you. I don't want you to die. I don't want to lose you either. Even if I die, my love for you. You will not die. You will not die. <laughs> Promise me you're going to take care of my father if I'm dead. Stop talking about death. You will not die. By this time tomorrow morning, you'll be dead. Ready to give to you for the rest of my life. If you will release the prisoner. Hey. <laughs> you know I cannot deny you anything. <laughs> Even if it is half my kingdom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, first thing tomorrow morning, the prisoner will be let go. <gasps> yeah, I say so. <laughs> Thank you. 
slept. I started asking the ghosts of our land, where are you? Are you now asleep? Papa, the gods are not asleep after all. Hmm. Papa, you are welcome from the land of the dead. Thank you, Papa. But what must have printed the king to do such a thing? Papa, mm. the king has interest on Akugo. He wants to take her in as a second wife. Ah, your cousin Ilo must be right. Papa, right about what? Have a move now. You are leaving this village to the city with your cousin Ilo soonest. Ah, Papa, why? How can you be his rival? If the king wants Sakugo, let him have her. You can still go to the city and find some more beautiful girls there. Papa, I don't understand what you're saying. How can you ask me to leave Akugo? Papa, you know that's not possible. You know I cannot do that. Let me ask you, my son. If you had died, what do you think would have become of Akugo? It's only foolishness that makes this nail thing he... It can quench the fire with its saliva. Your life is most important to me. If I can risk my life for, for ah. a if that's what you want to hear. Mission! Nkema Kolam! Nkema Kolam! Yes, Papa. Go and call Ilo for me. Tell him, Ava Mavuna, my son, is now back. Uh, Brother Ilo, is he the one that drives the car? Uh -huh. That's it. You know you haven't told me how you persuaded the king to change his mind on me. I know what he wants to hear. So, I only told him what he wanted to hear. Akugo, tell me the truth. Were you? Did you sleep with him? What? Am I stupid? Of course not. I only gave him false hope, which you have to wait forever to no avail. I told him I would leave you for him. You did? Are you sure about that? What would have been my fate, if not for your timely intervention? Your fate is my fate. Your destiny is my destiny. Together, forever. Akugo, thank God I found you. I'm happy you're free now. Akugo, and your mom. Ihegi na masimo Obya te mo byo nye mfuro na nya Ihegi na masimo Aku go wanyoma Ihegi na masimo 
Massimo. That's a mobile name for Ronania. He ancient is what we need now for that which the gods have proposed and are set to do no one will stop mom please please let me get back to the states and stay away from all these african deities and ancestral theories over there in the united states these things don't exist son that which the gods have proposed to do, no one can stop. Trying to run away from the wrath of the gods is like running away from your shadow. So, Mom, are you saying I should just stay here and watch myself die like a helpless fowl? Yoruka, my son. Brave men do not run away from challenges. They fight to win. So, son, fight to win. Greeting, my queen. Onozi is at the garden. He wishes to have a word with your highness. Tell him I do not want to see him. Not today, not ever again in this palace. Yes, my queen. To see him. You cannot see your father, son. Our gods gave birth to tradition. Violating the tradition, we make the gods very angry. So they say, Mom, are you saying we have to sit here and fold our arms and await the pronounced death? Is that what you're telling me? You must be kidding me, Mom. Otribu, listen and listen very well. Listen very carefully. What I am about to tell you, you have suffered so long in this village and the opportunity you have prayed for has arrived. And what kind of business opportunity is this that has to be discussed in the heart of the bush? Good. What I am about to discuss with you should remain top secret and no other ear should, should hear it. It should be between just you and me. It's okay, I'm hearing you. I will present you to Ezemai as the great Dibia of Omaliko village. I will provide everything you need to appear as a Dibia. Hmm? All you have to do is to learn exactly and to say exactly what I tell you. After all that, I will give you half a million Naira. Half a million? How sure are you this will work? This is a business I've been into for too long. All you have to do is to learn and say exactly what I teach you. 
Don't bother about how the money will come. Just to learn and say exactly what you teach me. That is all. What are we waiting for? Remember, no other ear must hear it all. Point of contribution. This ear closer to you, facing you now, has heard it already. But I will make sure that this one will not hear. Not to talk of any other person hearing it. <laughs> The great Tibia Odejinji of Omaliko village. You are a god amongst men. That is what you call me. That's what you are now. I'm glad to be. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> Your husband, the king, committed sacrilege. He shed the blood of the innocent ones. And the gods are very angry with him and have smitten him with this ailment. That is standing very close to you now. Not too far from where you are. Your son is not safe also. And the gods have decided to wipe out the king's family. But wise one, is there anything we can do to appease the gods? He that stands before you is not a mere mortal. I am a god among men. I will take up my godly nature to dine with the gods of this community, to appeal to and appease them on behalf of the king. And in four days' time from now, the anger of the gods shall be subsided. Your husband shall live again. You shall live and your son shall be free. Only if you are ready to pay the ultimate sacrifice. Wise one, I am ready to pay anything to subside the anger of the gods. <laughs> your husband killed an innocent couple. A man and his wife the blood of ten cows is equivalent to the blood of a man. Therefore, we shall be needing twenty cows for this ultimate sacrifice. Or the blood of your only son. Choose one. When you are ready, you send the message to me through him. Then I shall die with the gods of this community and your problems will be over. Wise one, is it any type of cows or is it a particular breed for this? Yes, there is a special breed for it. But it will be very difficult for you to get. You give us the money equivalent to it, then we do the rest for you. I, I am ready to pay anything. <laughs> Closer to us than we want. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, do you want me to go back to stay or something? Wherever, anywhere. Just leave. Leave here. Hey. Mama, why don't you go together? This place is evil. Let's go, let's go together. Don't bother about me. Just go. Go. Oh, no. 
from this why you are not permitted to leave this palace. Please calm down. Come down. Let your majesty. Let it be. As your majesty wish. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for you. I know you will come out today. I know you will be on the run today. Who are you, Ozo? What are you? Like I told you before, I am Ozo Menangwa Bero Wanamwa. Ojimoko, Ongo Egefu, from Omoajila village. If your father had listened to me, you wouldn't have been in all this trouble. Well, also, as you can see, I don't have time, okay? I'm in a haste because I want to leave this town. I want to leave this country. I'm sick and tired of Africa and the superstitious beliefs, okay? Maybe when I come back next time, maybe I'll see. Death awaits you there. It is only blindness that makes the snail to crawl into fire while trying to run away from the stone that stands on its way. What are you talking about, Ozo? I told you to go and meet your father. He has the answer to your questions. He has the solution to all the problems of this great kingdom. But you never asked, how am I supposed to meet with him? Okay. How am I supposed to meet with him? Follow me. And I'll take you to your father. Are you kidding me? You want us to go into the sacred room? Just follow me. Don't ask questions. Can we go now? Okay. Anyway. Follow me. <laughs> Getting tired already. If I also can walk such distance, what makes you think you can walk it? Follow me. You are getting closer to your answer. Also, my father is in the sacred room, in the palace, not in this ungodly forest, not a thousand miles away from the palace. Remember, no questions. Follow me.
Yes. We have to rest here. Because the journey ahead of us is too far. There is only one man who can help you. His name is Efu. Two villages are ahead from here. And that place is a sacred land. So you have to remove everything you have in your body. Are you kidding me? And like I'm going to remove all my shoes and clothes and all that? No, this, this is our designers, you know. Like I have my passport in here. How do I go back to the United States of America? Shh. Remember, no questions. You want to see your father? Of course I want to see my father. No questions. Let's go. My son, what you seek is not within our reach. It is in the land of the beyond. Land of the beyond? It takes only a man with a courageous heart and unswerving spirit to get the answers you seek. Wise one, the destiny and future of a Vume kingdom lies in his hand. Nothing else can make a man to be courageous than this. He is of a willing mind, wise one. Allow the young man to speak for himself. I have a courageous heart for anything that will grant me freedom from this emotional bondage. Tonight, you shall embark on a journey to the land of the dead. There and only there, you will get the answers you seek. So, when you cross to the other side of the river, keep moving straight. Do not look back. Do not look to your right or to your left. Keep moving until you get to the point where three paths meet. Is he not coming with me? My son, the journey you are about to make is not an ordinary one requires only one man. Where is he? Do not be afraid, my son. I'm with you. You want to see your father? Yes, I want to see my father. My grandson. Grandpa! My, my spirit has not been at rest because of the atrocities of your father. But the gods have chosen you to redeem this kingdom. Be of good cheer, my grandson. I'll always be with you. the seventh. Welcome to the land beyond. 
I am Ijele, the eyes into the world of the living and the dead. Where is my father? Come with me. Sit down, man of good will. Close your eyes. Ekuruke, Ekuruke, Ekuruke. Ndembene ndege de donu nolo na mi lolo ne mena mi jito di ka azwa ka drum mi pontu ndembu ngwala lu ma gwala lu gi na ba nu gidi na ko si aduna dum be kuni ke no be bo Open your eyes Father so you are alive after all Father I want to speak to you I have questions to ask you and I need answers. Please, who are those couple in blood that keeps coming to me seeking for vengeance? My king, wisdom does not revolve around the brain. It is seen in words and actions. <laughs> Simple abuche. <laughs> you know, it appears that the gods have brought together all the wisdom meant for the entire kingdom and put them on you. I'm flattered, my king. <laughs> oh no, it is not flattering. It is the truth. Thank you so much for believing in me, my king. Oh, it is you I should thank for the services you are rendering to the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, 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 what is next? Money. Mm. Once I have the money available, uh, we swing into action. And uh, how much are we talking about? Mm, half a million. Mm. We can manage half a million, my king. <laughs> You know, one, one, one problem I have with you is that you love money more than anything else in the world. My lord, I am not the one eating the money. I'm, I'm just uh, no, no, no. I will give you the money tomorrow. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll pay the money. All right. Your Majesty, is anyone who asked me to let you know that lunch is ready? Uh, yes, um, I, I, I have heard. Thank you, Your Majesty. <coughs> um, I, 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 I will send, send you the money tomorrow. Good. <laughs> uh, I have to go to the uh, dining table. Uh, good service.
Akugo, it's okay. You can leave now. I'll manage. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Why do I always have to come and stand here waiting for you? But my love, I'm sorry. I had to wait for the guards to go to sleep before coming. I don't like it when I come and stand here alone. It makes me unhappy. Okay, fine. I understand. I promise you it won't happen again. And henceforth, I'll be the one waiting for you, okay? Can you put a smile on your face? Sometimes I wonder if you're ever taken away from me, will I survive? I don't think I can ever survive one day without you. Don't say that again. I could go with me for each other. Hmm? My love for you knows no boundary. You're the only thing I need in this world. I'm happy I have you. I love you, Afam. Let's go inside. Really? I can't wait. <laughs> Come on. Anazi. Oh, yes, Your Highness. I cannot hide anything from you. Oh, I, I am confused. Oh yes, I am confused. Do I stoop so low as to... ...have sex with a palace maid? Or, or do I suffer in silence and keep my pride? You do not have to be confused, my king. What is royalty but freedom? Pleasure, wealth, and happiness. Hmm? You are the king. Whatever you so desire, it's at your fingertips. Whatever it is in this world, hmm? you are the king. So uh, if you deny yourself of your desires, it will be seen as uh, a crime. Yes. <laughs> 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 you, you know, no. Every time, every time you speak, you ooze wisdom. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is ordinary Abuche. <laughs> 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 you are too much. <laughs> uh, Your Majesty, if you want a million apugo, you are free to have a million apugo. That is what the kingship represents. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> It's time for me to go inside now. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Um, what of the half a million you asked me to come to collect? Um, well, actually, I, I'll make I'll make it seven hundred. Yeah, it's for the little help you, you gave just now. <laughs> um, one of my guards will bring bring the money soonest. <laughs> does the king want with a common palace maid like me? <laughs> this palace maid has ceased to be common because she had gained favors in the eye of the king. Come, come to me. My king, please have mercy on a poor common girl like me. Do such wickedness against the queen. He's in wine. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about her. You know, I can marry as many wives as I, as I choose. <laughs> I am the king, eh? and the entire kingdom is at my command. Come, come, come and dine with royalty. I'm sorry, my king. I, I can't do it. Why? Because my heart, my soul, and my body belongs to one another. And who is that? It's the one I love. What is he called? I said, what is he called? Or doesn't he have a name? Your Majesty, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't do this. Stop! <laughs> Single thing you have on you and get 
yourself onto this bed. My king. This is an order from the king. No! <laughs> Come the future king. The gods have given you a safe journey from the states. Welcome, my prince. You're welcome for good, my prince. My prince. elders, I greet you all. You're welcome, my prince. You're welcome, my prince. Who are they? Who are they? That's to No! Can't you see them? No sucking for best, mom. Can't you see them? Vampires. Vampires. Oh yes, in my father's palace. My son, the only set of people I can see here are the chiefs, you and I. Sit down, sit down. Yeah? Stop them! Stop them! Sit down! Sit down! Mom, sit down! Sit down! Mom, sit down! Sit down. Americans are bad. They are terribly bad. I know what his problem is. What? My queen. I think the Americans have injected the dreaded insanity vice into our prince. You can see he's under a strong influence. What are you talking about? Please, I suggest we invite the medical doctor to examine the priest. Let's not stand here and be listen to George and his American wives and religions. <laughs> you think I'm giving him mice and religion? Yes. I am telling you what I know and you think it is a fairy tale. Okay. This meeting is over. <laughs> Oh, no. 
take your medication last night after all. Oh, I'm not insane. I'm all right. This medication is not helping my situation. It's only making me to sleep and sleep and sleep. But I still see this couple in my sleep. They still visit. <laughs> Listen, son. The doctor said that the medication will make you feel better if you take it regularly. Why is everyone not believing me, mom? Why? There is nothing wrong with me. Ever since I came back from the States, I've not been myself. There is something definitely wrong with this palace. But you guys are not seeing it. Why are you making it look like I'm sick, like I'm not normal, like I'm insane? I know what I see. Tell her honors is here and uh, I want to see her urgently. Okay, sir. Come in. Your Majesty, Onoze is here and wishes to see you. He came at the right hour. Where is he? At the garden, Your Majesty. Tell him I'll be with him soon. Okay, Your Majesty.
Honestly, if there's a time your presence and words of advice are highly venerable to this kingdom, it is now. When, when the heavens over this kingdom seem to be falling apart and the inhabitants appear to be hopeless and without future, my queen, hopelessness exists only in the mind of mediocres. Royalty is not associated with hopelessness, my queen. Are you saying that I have failed in my duties to the great Evume kingdom? Far be it from it, my queen. You see, even the mighty, when faced with such tempest, often lose courage. And, uh, and, and but wisdom teaches us that sometimes uh, we should not talk about his fears, but uh, you know, but sum up, summon up the, the smallest, uh, the, the smallest faith. And because he talks of fear, when he talks of fear, what should the followers who look up to him do? Honestly, if it is fear, I must admit it. I've had more than enough. I mean, this whole thing is getting worse by the day. My queen, if it has to do with the future king of this kingdom, Prince Iroka, there's nothing to fear. The doctor I brought is the best. He's a specialist. He's, a, he's really a specialist. If he is on Iroka's case, then we have light of hope. Oh, let me... Let me ask this question. What if the prince is not insane after all? What if the prince is right when he said that the problem is not with him, but with the kingdom? You and I know that we have enjoyed peace and tranquility in this kingdom. And uh, if not for the bad health condition of the king, uh, there would have been no need to bring Prince Iruka all the way from America. Since no one knows the fate of the king, it became imperative that he came back. And you and I know that since he came back, he has been like this. What are you implying? Uh, that there's nothing wrong with the kingdom, but there's something wrong with Prince Iruka. And that is why you have to make sure he follows the doctor's prescription to the letter. Then he'll be normal again. If the king now dies, he has to take over. But he has to be normal to take over. Now you're drawing very close to the point. When you say, my fears. Yes, yes, yes. You, your fears, just let him take the prescription to the letter then your fears will be gone, just like that. It came to my notice that my son, the prince, has refused to eat all day. What is the problem? Maybe you should tell me. I need to know myself. I'm talking about food. You not eating. I'm not hungry. Oh, my son, you need to eat. If food is the problem, then I don't have any problem. This body of mine has known nothing but torment, agony, pain. Mom, here's the one. Please tell me, who are those couple in blood? Son, I wish I knew. You are the only one who sees them. No other person sees them. Maybe you should tell me. See, see, see. That's the point. For my nine years in the United States of America, I've never known of such. I started seeing those people the moment I stepped my foot into this palace. But 
Son, you need to eat. Hmm? You need to eat. The only way you can prove it to me that you're normal is to take these pills. Hmm? How do you mean? Honestly, and his doctor said that if you take these pills consistently for one month, that your abnormality will be corrected. If after one month and nothing happens, I wouldn't have any other option than to believe you. Mm -hmm. One whole month? I'd rather die than stay in this evil for one month. Oh. Right. Uh. Come on, son. Take it. makes you think you can walk up to the palace at will to see the prince? Exactly what made me come the last time. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now listen, Mr. Ozo or whatever your name might be, for the sake of peace, go back to where you are coming from or else. If truly you have the peace of this palace and the entire kingdom at heart, you wouldn't hesitate to take me to the prince. Hey, my friend, get back, get back! See this man again? Can't you see that you're disturbing the peace of this entire palace? This palace, the entire kingdom, we know no peace. I repeat, we know no peace. Not until I have been allowed to see the prince and have a word with him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, I've told you, come on, I've told you. You should have cut this man to pieces. Open this door! Open this door! Open this door! I want to leave this evil palace! I want to leave this place! Do you want him to suck my blood? Do you want this man to suck my blood? Open this door now! I will break this door! What? Do! My, my, my prince! What is it? Why do you order them to lock me down here? I'm a your prisoner! My son, it is for your own good. You lie! You lie, mom! It's for your selfish interest for the throne! For this evil throne! It's not for my good! You don't have my interest at heart at all. That's a lie. You know you're lying. I love you so much. You know it. I want the best for you. 
If you want the best for me, be me and send me back to the United States of America. Not in this your situation. What do you want from me? What do you want from me, ma'am? What do you want from me? How am I going to be your bills? What are that from you wants to know that the problem is not with me, but with the palace? What are that you want, ma'am? My son, my son, just relax. Try and catch some sleep. Tomorrow morning, you will leave for America if that is what you want. That is what I want! That is what I want! Okay, okay, just relax. Sleep. Tomorrow morning, you will leave this continent, okay? And I want it now! Your word is your bond, mom! Mom, I said your word is your bond! Just, 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 just catch some sleep. Okay? Good night, son. One month and two days. His condition is worsening. What is going on? Your Majesty, words spoken in anger are words spoken in foolery. Please uh, forgive me my past mistakes and forgive the doctor. Let your anger subside, for that would enable us to know what to do next. There is no next time with you on this case. Because my patience has run out! Oh, Your Majesty, please, uh, I have this one last suggestion. Please pay heed to this last suggestion. Just, just, just keep it to yourself. I don't need it. I'll do it my own way this time. Uh, Your Majesty, I can see that the Queen is very bitter against me. But please, I beg in the name of God, forgive me my mistakes. Uh, this last suggestion may be the solution to his problem. I am not ready for that now. Honestly, can we have this talk tomorrow? As your majesty pleases. Uh, but remember, your majesty, you have a meeting with the council members later in the day. Yes, I do. To have you. You have not told me why you called for this meeting. Um, as the one of the great Ifme Kingdom, I greet you. May your days be long. It is only a fool who doesn't know that when the bat suddenly starts flying in the day, that it is a sign that all is not well. It is also a fool who hears the rhythm of the Srugede and they start dancing it. A wise man would run in for safety, for his dear life, because through the dance, is the dance of the spirit. Ichiendo, you are the true son of your father. Actually, Osurugede is the dance of the spirits. It is a dance meant only for the spirits. Thank you so much, Ichiendo. Your Majesty, we, the elders and the cabinet chiefs of this great kingdom, have looked around. We have read the handwritings on the wall. And we have concluded that something is definitely wrong somewhere. Let us not waste much time. Let us begin to search for the dark good now that is still there. Ichiendo. 
you only succeeded in letting us know how good you are with riddles. I hope you all did not call me here to teach me riddles. May you live long, Your Majesty. Please let me help my brother, Shen. There is no need speaking in riddles. My queen, if my kingdom is in a serious problem, and the earlier we say to find out the cause of our problems and the solution as well, the better for us all. Yes. Our king suddenly fell sick. The doctors, after diagnosing him, say that all his systems have stopped working. For 12 months now, our king has been lying helplessly on his bed. He didn't die as the doctor said, yet he doesn't eat, he doesn't talk, he doesn't even see. Believing he would have died long ago, we decided that the prince, the heir apparent to the throne, should come home. Little did we know that our problems are yet to be unraveled. My queen, the future of this kingdom is at stake. To us, it is a sign. Have I not spoken well, my fellow elders? Yes, yes you did. I still have not seen the reason you called for this meeting. The reason we called for this meeting is to know why the gods of our ancestors have decided to afflict us. And to know where we've gone wrong. And to know how possible we can appease them. So that peace and all darlings can be restored to this kingdom. Ichiyoji, are you now the mouthpiece of the gods? Who told you that the gods afflicted us? With all due respect, oh my guest, this great black man does not see an evil arrow flying over his head. The ailment of the king is not ordinary, neither Prince Ilocas. It is obvious that the gods are not happy with us. So, what do you want me to do now? Your hands. The Ofo. The Ofo your husband used was handed over to him by his father, who inherited it from his own father. And so they trace down to the origin of this great kingdom. Since the gods of our land, the great ancestors of our land have a priest. What stops us from going to inquire from them? Why was our king suddenly affected and his only son almost going mad? Well, in that case, Jendo, you and the other cabinet chiefs should go to the Ekekoro shrine in four market days and report back to me. Your Majesty, the problem is medical. It is more scientific than traditional. Nothing will, nothing good will come out of this. If the problem is medical, why is the king's ailment defiling medicine? And why is my son not responding to the pills? A coincidence, my queen. Sheer coincidence. The king's ailment has nothing to do with the son's predicament. Uh, no, thank you. You can go back. I was saying, Your Majesty. And the king's ailment has nothing to do with the son's ailment. What we have to do is to get the right solution to the problem. And as for the king, uh, Your Majesty, no one lives forever. Honestly, I disagree with you. There's no such thing as coincidence in destiny. Royalty is destiny. And destiny can be compromised by a degree of carelessness. Uh, 
You mean, you, you mean... Uh... The cabinet chiefs and my son are right. There is a problem with this kingdom. There's this evil hovering around this kingdom. Your Majesty, what if I brought a man who would see your son and uh, he would stop seeing this naked couple of his? Would you then believe me that there's no evil in this palace? And who can that man be? Ah, uh, his professor, Dr. Adebayo, a psychologist. A good one. Perfect one. How are you today, my son? How oh, are you disappointed me? You lied to me. And you're not worthy of reality. Your word should be your bond. Son, can't you see you're not normal? If truly those vampires you see are real, don't you think they would have fed on your blood? Oh, they are very real. They come here. They visit me regularly. They are demanding for justice. They are demanding for vengeance. Mom, who are they? You have a visitor. A visitor? He's waiting for you. Come, let's go. Sorry, you can sit, please. Thank you so much. My name is Professor Adebayo. I came all the way from the western part of this country just to see you and know how you are doing. Professor Adebayo, I can't remember meeting any professor from Nigeria. And we are just meeting now, Your Highness. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you, Your Highness. I am here to help you regain your mental, social, emotional, and physical freedom. See. Um, Your Highness, could you please remind me your name? Well, my name is Prince Iruka Gumakonam Edume. Prince Iruka, why did you come back to Nigeria? Well, I came back because my mother, the queen, told me that my father is at the verge of death. I should come back home and get acquainted with the traditions of our land and the rituals of our land, so as to take over from him when he passes on. Since you came back, have you bothered to see him? Him? You mean my father? Yes, your father. Well, I was also told that he's locked down in a sacred room where I can't see him because of tradition until he dies. What makes you think that your father is still alive? Mom, what's going on here and who is this man? 
Son, just calm down and answer all his questions. He's here for your good. Trust me. Did you say trust me? Are you kidding me? Mom, you know that you've lost my trust. Oh, yes. Your Majesty, I think I have to need a time out with him. Just me and him alone. Things all over them from the blood gushing out from their mouth. See, they come to me like I offended them and they're seeking for revenge. Those pictures and images you see, you don't see them with your optical eyes, but you see them with the eye of your inner mind. They are illusions. Oh, yes. It's initially, I used to see them physically just like you're standing before me, now just the way we're standing now, they appear. But since I resorted to the pills, they now appear in my dreams. But Prof, there is this spectacular thing that happens each time they appear. I have this feeling, I have this hour, like, it's so real, like they are there, like I feel their presence. Now, listen, the next time they appear, don't fidget in fear, just relax. Close your eyes, for a while, when you open them, you will not see them again. They are non-existent. So, so, what is the problem with me? What? What's going on? Do you watch movies a lot? Yeah, films. Of course, I watch films. It's my hobby. Horror? Vampires? Yes, of course. I, I, I like horror movies a lot. I watch them a lot. That's the problem. What are we talking about? That's the problem. How? The fear that is associated with horror that you have given yourself to for a very long time now has gotten a grip on your subconscious mind. I don't believe you, Prof. I don't believe this. Prof, I know what I see. Why is everybody... Your Majesty. Yes, Professor. Your son is mentally sound. There is nothing wrong with his senses. Only that he is suffering from post horroric traumatic effect. What does that mean? There's no need for that. I have told him what he should do anytime he sees them. And I can assure you that you will never hear him scream and shout any longer. His problems are over. Well, Professor, if your magic truly works, I will surely send for you again to show my appreciation. I will be waiting to hear from you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you. What do we give him? What else? Uh, but money. How much? Hmm, 300,000 would do. What? For what? Your Majesty, that professor is no mean man. In fact, I had to convince him by telling him how worthy this kingdom is. You see, the figure I just told you is just to beg him to, uh, to manage. Not that it is his worth. 
I'm beginning to think that you're using my son's predicament to siphon this kingdom. The other time you made me spend fortune for pills, mere pills, mere sleeping pills that did not even help my son's condition. Rather, it cost me so much pain and sorrow. Now I have to pay 300,000 Naira for a casual visit. Well, um, with all due respect, if my loyalty and services for the kingdom, just to see the best of this kingdom is being misunderstood, then I think I should be relieved of my services. I'll send a guard to give you the money. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're not real. You are not real. You exist in my mind. Yes. And by the time I close my eyes and open them, you are gone. <laughs> I said it! Hi! Okay, you will go. You will go back. Don't 
truly evil over surround from a kingdom because the river has been polluted from its source hmm. the gods are so angry with evil kingdom and they have decided to pour out their rods against them It is dangerous. Hmm. I only see doom. I only see death. Death. I only see the innocent blood seeking for vengeance. And until the blood is avenged, Every my kingdom we know no peace. Every my kingdom we know no peace. Truly, man is nothing but a slave in the hands of the gods. Whom the gods have chosen to chastise who can save, who can deliver the mere mortal from the hands of the maker. My elders, what do we do? In the cheer of the great Evume kingdom, what shall be done? Your majesty, since we do not know where this bloodshed came from, I suggest we call for a solemn assembly and invite the Alpha priest. Let him come and cast his lot. And whoever the lot falls upon, let the person and his or her family be made to confess what they did and be put to death. Consequently, I believe the anger of the gods will be appeased. Ichiyoji, do you think the gods are blind? Do you think uh, the gods are so weak that they cannot avenge for themselves? You are, you are right, my majesty. The gods are not blind. Neither are they weak. They can only be slow to act. But definitely, they know what to do. As you can see, they are already at work. The point is, how do we appease the gods? George, are you deaf? Didn't you hear the chief priest? He said that the river had been polluted from his source. This is your huh? My friend, yeah. let me see the prince. What is wrong with you? I said I want to see the prince. Udoka! Udoka! Your Majesty! What's going on there? Nothing to disturb you about, my queen. I want to know. What do you think you're going to do? That strange looking man has been coming to this palace to disturb the peace. And he said he wants to speak with the prince. Who is he? I, I truly do not know him. What does he want? He said this palace will not know peace unless if he's allowed to speak with the prince. Bring him here quickly. Yes, my queen.
Long live the queen as the wine of the Vume kingdom. Get up. You may leave now. Thank you. Who are you? My name is Ozemena Nwadiarowa Namwa Ojimwokoro Nwadiarowa Nwadiarowa. What do you want? I want to see the prince. Why would you want to see the prince, if I may ask? To say welcome. Just that? Just that, my friend. Well, I'm afraid you can't see him. The prince is not in a good health condition. That is the more reason I have to see him. I know what is wrong with him. In fact, not even with him. I know what is wrong in this palace. And I am the one with the solutions to the problems of this palace and the kingdom at large. What are you talking about? Take me to the prince. Follow me. Calm down, my prince. I can do this. Calm down. Who are you, mister? Who are you? I am Azemena Mwabiaro Wanama. Ojimwoko Mwerefobia from Umajela village. I came to help you out of this place. Does my mom know about your mission? She had no option but to let me in. So how do you intend to take me out of this place? Sit down. I have the answer you seek. What are you talking about? The couple in blood that visit you often. You know about the couple in blood? Yes, I do. Yes, so, 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 so tell me, who are they? What happened? Your father, the king, he and he alone has the answer to this question. Go get the answer for him. The tradition says that when a king is about to die, he is taken to a sacred room and the successor is not allowed to see him until he dies. So tell me, are you advising me to violate the tradition? If you really wish to be free from all these experiences, go and meet your father, the king. He has something to tell you. I'm going. Wait, 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 please. Also, you can go. Please, explain these things to me well. I don't really understand. Who are these couple in the Lord? What about them? I don't know, I'm confused. I have told you what to do. Is there something you have not told me? The anger of the gods that on us. He suddenly took ill with this strange ailment. Sonny Ruka has become a lunatic. 
Igwe, what is it you're hiding from me? The chief priest said that the river polluted from the source. Igwe, what did you do to offend the gods? <laughs> this whole burden is on me. I cannot bear it any longer. How can I bear it? country. Udoka, leave him. Free him. Free him? Why did you... Why did you rough and do me? No, I want to see my father. I want to see him. I want to get away from this bondage. But I want to start living a normal life. Invited an Alpha priest. He's on his way to the palace. You are not just going to be free. This whole palace will be free. The entire Evume kingdom will be free soon. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. Yes, I can see. As in why? The only thing I see is the downfall of the great Ifume kingdom. Death awaits the king's family. I can see death around you and you too. None shall remain in the king's family. No one shall be able to take up the mantle, the royal mantle. So shall the great kingdom fall. And everyone go his own way. So have the gods planned it. Evil has been committed and covered or the day of doom is come. That is 
is why I have invited you here. What evil was that? Can't we appease the gods? No, is the one. Only the man that committed the evil shall reveal his evil until that is done and the ultimate sacrifice is paid. I see death around you. You shall die and die until no one is remaining in the king's family. Who committed this evil? My father, the king. Who told you that? My father has answers to all our questions. He has a story to tell us. But your father cannot talk any longer. That is the irony of it all. What can we do now? My lord, I was indisposed all through yesterday. The other palace maidens can also attest to. I will you shut up? Shut your demeaning excuses. You made me release that income, that non entity. On the strength that you will come, come and spend the night with me. <laughs> but what have you done? You are here standing, giving me excuse about a cock and bull story. My lord, please, I am not lying to you. That is my witness. I was sick yesterday. Come on, will you shut up? I am going to have my way now. I'm here. So get all those things you have on there. Get them now. Come on, remove them. No, no. Remove, remove. My lord. I said take them, take them off. Oh, you reap what you 
early in the morning. Your Majesty, I'm sorry, but the king sent for me. Sent for you? For what? Um, the, the king... The king did what? I, uh, I heard that she was not feeling well yesterday. So I sent what to find out how she is. Serious. Hmm, Mama, I don't know what I will do any longer. I don't know. My daughter, you see, two wrongs cannot make a right. You have to let Ezemaya know about this. Mama, that's the best thing you do now. That is it. Mama, how can you say something like that? Do you not know the kind of confusion that will cause in the palace? Listen, my daughter. It is safer when his wife knows you are innocent than being told the other way around. That is it. So you mean tell the queen that's the best thing to do now? Eh? Who is there? Nay, nah, good morning. It's me, Akogo. Akogo, the palace maid? Yes, Nay. Nay, is, is that my phone around? You know, Afemibna is no more working in the palace. And uh, this place does not resemble anywhere in the palace. Nay, nah, I know. But it's of urgent matter that I must see him. Uh, but you were with him yesterday. Uh, just yesterday. Yes. Please, can I see him? Is he in? You understand? You can go. No. I'm fine. Where are you going? Ah, I'm going to work. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> Kugo, you leave the palace at will these days. What's happening? Eh, I came to see my love, Afa. Afa? But you were with him all through yesterday. I don't think that any day will pass by without me seeing him. <laughs> love, man. Why are you not understand? Please make me understand. Please do. Akugo, did he really commit the crime? How can you say something like that? Don't you know Afam again? Sorry. Change is one thing, constant, you know. My Afam will never change to be that naughty, to the height of that kind of atrocity. It was only set up by the king. Are you serious? The king? He sees Afam as his little rival. You mean the king has his eyes on you? I've made up my mind. I've made my choice. I mean, Afam is everything that I want. Ha! Me, Uduma. The one love that will deny me the opportunity of royalty has never existed and will never exist. Me, the day you love. Well, my own has existed. And that is why you and I are different. Come on, with me. You mean that mad dog wanted to sleep with you? Hmm. Rape you? My dear, don't worry. The gods are not asleep. Is it your why intervened? This king is beginning to take too much and I don't like it. Don't worry. Nothing will ever successfully stand against our love. Not even a thousand enumes. I could go, I'm scared. 
Don't be scared. My love, don't worry. Okay? My name is Akugu. I decide who I give my body to, my soul, and my spirit. And I have long made that decision a long time ago. That is not what even worries me. What worries me is your father. My father? He doesn't want to see us together. So, so Must you have to sack my chief mate with that boy? Uh, what are you talking about? I sent for Akugo. They told me that she had moved out of this palace. That you sacked her. Me? Yes. Why would I do a thing like that? You mean you did not sack her? What for? What is wrong with that girl? This little brat is playing on my intelligence. Excuse me? Hmm? Uh, no, I, I, I was thinking about something else. God? Because of this land will give you Johnny Mercy. You, know, you can see my son Afamifuna. Please look after him just as you look after your children. Uh, Afamifuna. Papa. Oh, come. You will always listen to your cousin. Huh? Uh, Papa, I have heard you. Mm. I will take him as my own son. Mm. Uh, so, we'll, uh, we'll be going. Afam. Come, let's go. No, no, no. Afam. You know what is holding you?
to kill yourself. Oh, eh? The young man said he will still come back for you. No! Oh, why are you doing this? No! I will not survive! I will not survive even one second without him. I will just die! Hey! No! Don't talk like this! You're not going to die! die. You're not going to die, my daughter! You're die. not going to die! Hey! Feel me still love you! Feel me still love you! Eh? Listen! What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Why did he this village? He didn't leave you. He didn't leave you. I will just die. I will just die. Have stopped. Uh, what is it, um, Uncle? Yes. I want to ease myself. Okay. Is is go ease yourself, but be fast. Let's go now, Uncle. I'm not going again. Why, Uncle? I can't. I can't. I can't leave you, Uncle. That's why. I can't afford to leave her. In fact, do you know what you're saying? Yeah, no, no, no. Get the king's convoy ready. We are paying uh, Akugo's uh, father a surprise visit. I want you to get everything ready. Uh, get um, uh, one bag of rice, two, two goats, chicken, lamb, everything, everything. Tea was a yam, everything. And when you've got everything ready, you call me in the, uh, I'll be in my chambers. Yes, sir.
No! 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 What is it? Leave here now. My king is upset. Leave! Stop. Get one of the guards to go to another of this place and bring him here immediately. Yes, my king. Are you sure he's dead? Dead and buried. <laughs> that is good, good, good. <laughs> your balance. Nice in business with you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Toilet, toilet. You reap what you sow. Surely one day for what you did you pay. I found it what? I found it what? Fam is dead! What kind of stupid joke is that? He was found dead at the roadside with bruises all over his body. Whoa! Follow me, Abu! Follow me!
Majesty can now have Akugo all to himself. How? Yes. You can have all to yourself, Akugo, because we have sent your rival to the land of the underworld. Are you telling me the truth? <laughs> he is dead and buried. No, oh, that is good. <laughs> that is good. But I am still worried. This voice. Are you sure they will not tell somebody about this sometime? Your Majesty, you have nothing to worry about. I have settled them fully just last night. Oh? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my king. Your Majesty, your wonderful lady. You are now free. Oh. <laughs> hey! 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 Look at me. Okay. At this my age, I have no wife. Even my eyes to see. Man, what a blind man. I say I should not cry. You say I should not cry. How can I stop crying? How can I stop crying? Just because of this last hit. What do you mean? How much do we receive from the last day? See, you have not seen this thing from the angle I'm seeing it. See, it's not about how much we already received. It's about how, how much more we can still receive. I check up now. How much more? How much more? <laughs> Guy, do you know who we are working for? The king of every kingdom. What about him? <laughs> Igwe can pay any amount to keep this as a secret. He will never like to soil his integrity. <laughs> Why smell black male here? Hey, now you are coming. <laughs> now you understand where I'm coming from. See, a real black male. <laughs> a real one. <laughs> That's very brilliant of you. <laughs> Guy, now. <laughs> hey, Omo, we don't become millionaire for life. That's <laughs> Under no circumstance are you supposed to come here and see me. If you need anything, Onazi is the person to see. Your Majesty, when I need Onazi, I know where to find him. But you are the person in the center of the picture now. What picture? The boys need more money. You must be out of your mind. Didn't I pay you completely? Your Majesty, this is in your best interest. Because I am aware that His Majesty will not want anyone else to know that he is behind Afam's death. So, you are planning to blackmail me? If that is what you call it. We are waiting for your message. One million naira or S. Goodbye. 
Uh, Igwe, don't bother yourself about this at all. Hmm? I will make sure I will clear that mess within the next 24 hours. How, Onazi? Just make the money available. I will use it as a bait on them. And who will be tired me if I come back to, not to tell you they are all dead? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> my evil genius. <laughs> you made me so. <laughs> go, go. I can not say we don't have one. <laughs> hey! Move back. Unless you keep us sweating. But I'm here now. You count it yourself. Check it yourself. Don't break protocols next time. Hmm? You see me, I see the Igwe. Alright? No problem, sir. No problem, sir. One by one now. <laughs> oh, more we don't hammer. And ah. more! More drinks! From the king's treasure! Cheers! <clears throat> wait, 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 give me. For waiting now. Ah! Hmm? Listen, I don't pull mouth, finish. This is not a game. No, boy, give me a job. I beg you, come on. I if you know what, you go finish up. Light my own. Smoke, smoke, they go. Now, what's inside? Smoke, they go. They all carry them out. You're for this. Spread the whole package. I'm going to miss something. 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 Come to the front street and have your money. Okay, sir. The king himself, <laughs> your majesty. You, oh, you don't know what you've done. You've done fantastic for me today. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's, it's nothing, my king. It's just ordinary Abuche. <laughs> um, by the way, have you heard anything about the damsel? 
Who oh, yes. oh. <laughs> she's mourning the demise of our lover boy. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> so much pain and misery. You should have fought with death. You should not have left me alone. Did you forget that you had a Google? How could you forget? You should have fought. You should have fought to stay alive for our love. Why did you go? You should have fought. You should have stayed alive for me. Or maybe you're forgetting something. Have you forgotten the vow that you had? The oath that we took? Have you forgotten? If you have, I haven't. Let me remind you. Nothing. Nothing will successfully stand or come between our love. Nothing. Not even death. Not even death. Not even death. <laughs>
Father. He is in the secret room in the palace. Please. What do I do to appease the gods? You must pay the ultimate sacrifice. What is the ultimate sacrifice? Down and don't be scared. No one I hear you alone. That live by the sword, die by the sword. That is the ultimate sacrifice. So, my elders, what do we do? It is already too late, Your Majesty. We cannot stop the gods from doing that 
which they have proposed to do. Onozi is dead. And the king is almost dead. And the prince is nowhere to be found. How are the mighty fallen? Even the kingdom has finally collapsed like, like the ancient Spartan city. Not why I'm still alive. Hiroka, where are you coming from? Mom, who was that Hugo? What are you talking about? Answer me! A palace maid. Who was that maid for now? My priest, who has been feeding you with... Answer me now! Head of the palace gods. My father the king. Killed an innocent young man, Arthur Mifuna. The only hope of an old blind man, all because of his lust for Hugo. But what he did know was that these two lovers were knitted together in a sacred oath. Our abomination. Hugo later killed herself too. And their blood is still hovering in the air. And today, the gods have decided to avenge their death. Where are you going? To pay the ultimate sacrifice. atrocity that has left the whole of the kingdom in shambles. You killed Afmefna all because of your lust for Akugo. And Akugo in turn killed herself because of the love she had for her boyfriend. Now their blood is hovering everywhere, seeking for vengeance. My son, please forgive me. Is there one? Please forgive me. My elders, please forgive me. I was misled by greed, arrogance, and lust. Ah, Anazi misled me. Please forgive me. Because the gods have decreed that the ultimate sacrifice must be paid. Gods have decreed that the ultimate price must be paid. And I will pay the ultimate price. He has paid the ultimate price. He has finally appeased the gods. Elders of a Vume kingdom, I hereby present to you all King Iruka Edume, the seventh of the Vume kingdom. My king, you shall live long. Long live the king.